So this video is looking at short division with decimals. Um, I have three calculations, 10.5 divided by 3, 10.5 divided by 6, and 10.5 divided by 30. So the first one I'm going to do is 10.5 divided by 3. So you say to yourself, how many 3s go into 1, which is 0, you don't have enough to complete a full group. So you move your 1 over here. Then you say, how many 3s go into 10? 3 times 3 is 9. So it's 3, and your remainder is 1. Now, it's really important at this point you put your decimal point in. Okay, This decimal point has got to line up with the other one. And then the last one is, three, how many 3s go into 15? Well, 5 times 3 is 15, so you put your 5 in there. So 10.5 divided by 3 is 3.5. Okay, now if I look at the relationship between this calculation and this calculation, this one I'm dividing by 3 and this one I'm dividing by 6. So in my head, if I was making an estimate, um, I know that this one is going to be half of this one because I'm dividing it by double the amount. Okay, so the answer is going to be half because I'm dividing it by double the amount. My divisor is double. Three is, 6 is double of 3. I'm going to go through the short division method anyway. So how many 6s go into 10? Once again, is 0. And you put your 1 down here. How many 6s go into 10 here? That was 1. So that's just 1. And your remainder is 4. It's hard to see. Once again, I'm going to line up my decimal points. That's really, really important. Um, and then you need to say to yourself, how many sixes go into 45? If you're ever unsure, there's normally um, one that sticks in your head. Six times six is 36, always sticks in my head. So that's a, I don't have to go six, 12, 18. I don't need to go from the bottom. So if I've got six times six is 36, I know seven times six, you need to add six on, it's going to be 42. So if I put my seven on the top, 42 so then 42 to 45 the difference is 3 now there's nothing in this hundreds column so I need to make a big zero here so now I need to say to myself how many sixes go into 30 and the answer is 5 so the answer to this one is 0 I don't need my zero it's just 1 0.75 and I can look at the two and go okay well I know half of three is 1.5 half of five is uh, 2.5 so half of 0.5 will be 0 0.25 if I add my 1.5 to my 0 0.25 that is my answer so I didn't need to go through this method but it's another way to show you if you ever get one where your divisor the number you're dividing it by is double, your answer is going to be half. Um, and I've put this one on the side as well, I've got 10.5 divided by 30. If I know 10.5 divided by 3 is 3.5, I need to divide this then by 10. Okay, so if I divide it by 10, I'll get 0 0.35. And that is how you use short division with decimals.